This is Sung, I'm the Principal and Director of Sky Academy and I want to welcome you to the, to the end of this chapter, uh, which is Basic Algebra. And what I want to do with you now is basically give you a summary or an overview of what we covered in all the episodes in this unit of work. You ready for that? Okay, so basically it's, it's Basic Algebra, um, a summary, and we started off with looking at Basic Algebra skills. Right, so for example, when it comes to addition and subtraction, we needed to understand that, that um, in order to add and subtract algebraic terms, you need to collect terms that are like. You can only add apples with apples and oranges with oranges. So we need to, to understand that um, pronumerals, um, like pronumerals can be added together, unlike pronumerals stay separate within the algebraic expression. Okay, so for example, you can add x's with x's, y's with y's, xy's with xy's, or combinations of letters with combinations of letters, but the combinations have to be the same, and you add the coefficients or the numbers in front of the pronumeral term, uh, the, the pronumeral, uh, the pronumerals together. Okay, so collecting like terms. We worked out that. So plus and minus, right? The other thing that we worked out how to do was to multiply and divide pronumerals, okay? And so we learned to do that. And what will become uh, important later on is when we start looking at the index laws. We kind of looked at that uh, early on in this, this episode, but uh, we will look at that in more detail in a separate chapter on indices and logarithms where we look at powers and how to combine powers together when you multiply, okay? Um, and then the third algebraic skill that we looked at was substituting into formula, okay? So when you have to replace pronumeral letters with the numerals that they represent, okay? And then to be able to work out the value of a pronumeral expression accordingly. After looking at the basic algebra skills, we then moved on to look at expansion techniques. And there are a number of different expansion techniques that we looked at. Um, and it starts off by understanding that we, when, when expanding brackets, right, we use, um, I think it's the distributive law, which allows us to then take the, the, number, out, the number or the pronumer out the front and multiply by each of the expressions within a set of brackets, right? And that is because multiplication is distributive over addition, right? So in other words, what that means is when you multiply, you have to multiply each of the terms being, um, being added together that you're multiplying the pronumeral expression by. So this x plus y, the a multiplies by the x and the a multiplies by the y to give ax plus a y, yes? Then we looked at binomial products, yeah? And in binomial products, we understood that what we need to do is use the FOIL method, right? So the FOIL method says that we multiply the front two terms, the outside two terms, the inside two terms, and the last two terms. Front, outside, inside, last, okay? And that's the FOIL method, yeah? And then we also got to see how that applies to perfect cubes, right? And the general formula for that was x plus y cubed equals to that expression, x minus y cubed equals to that expression. Got it? Cool. After expansion, we looked at the next um, concept, which is the opposite of expansion, which is Factorization. So we looked at factorization techniques and, and basically what we understood factorization to mean is where you've got a common uh, factor, right, between two um, uh, pronumeral expressions, right? So see how here you've got A is common to both? What you can do is take that A out as a factor, right? And you're left with a, uh, another expression within a set of brackets uh, where the A has been divided out of each of the two terms. So you're left with, so AX plus AY, you're left with A outside of X plus Y, right? We also applied that to grouping in pairs, right? Um, and grouping in pairs allows us to factorize twice. It allows us to factorize the A out of, in this particular case, allows you to factorize the A outside of AX plus AY and the B outside of BX plus BY. 
yeah? And then from what's left over, we are able to factorize out and group again so that we got the X plus Y expression being factorized out um, so that we're left with A plus B, right? So that's grouping in pairs, right? So if you, if you get stuck on that, go back to the episode that where it came from and it should be obvious, okay? Um, we also looked at the difference of two squares, the difference between two squares, which is X squared minus Y squared, right? So see how X squared and Y squared are two squared terms and you've got a minus, um, uh, they're being, uh, and we're looking at the difference or the minus, uh, what happens when you minus the two, and that can factorize into x plus y and x minus y, right? Um, and we, so we looked at the difference of two squares, and we also looked at the difference and the sum of two cubes, right? So x cubed minus y cubed becomes that expression, x cubed plus y cubed becomes that expression. Yeah, so we looked at the difference of two squares, the sum and difference of two cubes, and then we looked at another topic, which we will look at later when we do another chapter called quadratic equations, right, or quadratic functions, um, but we introduced ourselves to it, and that is factorizing quadratic trinomials. Now, a trinomial is basically a form where you've got ax squared, where the highest power of x is two, right? So you've got ax squared plus bx plus c, C, right? And that's a trinomial, right? And we learn how to factorize um, trinomials using two methods, right? The first method that I went through was called the product sum method. The second method that I went through was called the cross method. So yeah, if you, if you get stuck on that or you want to refresh your memory on that, go back to that particular episode, yes? And then finally, what we did was we looked at algebraic fractions. Now, algebraic fractions are basically algebra or algebraic expressions that involve fractions. In other words, you've got an expression on the top and an expression on the bottom, yeah? And we looked at um, how to do uh, addition and subtraction with algebraic fractions. Now, when you do addition and subtraction using algebraic fractions, what you need to remember is that the denominator you need a common denominator, okay? Um, so you need to be able to use the common denominator to add it and subtract. So if they've got different denominators, you need to work out what a common denominator is, right? So go back to that episode uh, that deals with addition and subtraction if you're stuck. And then the other thing that we learned how to do was multiplication, division, and simplification, right? So in other words, when it comes to doing multiplication and division, what often helps is to be able to factorize fully the top line, factorize fully the bottom line of the expressions that you're multiplying and dividing, right? And then um, uh, cancel out or simplify the expressions that can be canceled, top with, top with bottom and bottom with top. You can go diagonally, top with bottom, um, but you can't cancel top with top and bottom with bottom, right? So in other words, um, yeah, using uh, all the factors of your algebraic fractions, you can then multiply and divide through cancelling first. Now, when it comes to division, of course, the other thing you need to remember is that you invert and multiply the fraction being divided, okay? But there you have it. That is a basic summary, well, an overall summary of basic algebra, okay? Uh, of the basic algebra unit of work. You need to be familiar with it, Okay, but there you have it. That's basic algebra in a nutshell. I'll stand to the side now so that you can take that all in. All right, but thank you very much for watching. Thank you.